la voiture s'appelle Disco Volante, ce qui est une, une soucoupe volante, parce qu'à l'époque, ça évoquait, euh, lors de son lancement, ça évoquait la, l'âge euh, des, des, des vols spatiaux. Et donc, on essaie de recréer un peu cette, cette atmosphère de vaisseau euh, spatial à l'intérieur. Et alors, on joue un peu la lumière, on joue euh, les, les, les touches rouges, on joue euh, évidemment les matériaux pour essayer de recréer cette impression de cockpit. Well, the GD86 first was uh, a way to show that you don't need uh, 600 horsepower to have fun to drive. We wanted to make an affordable car uh, for everybody. I mean, the car starts uh, at 25,000 uh, pounds or 30,000 uh, euro. And this car has probably one of the most fun to drive chassis you can find in, uh, in the car industry with 200 horsepower. Now, The logical version of it is that you would like to drive this car open and this is what we might offer if uh, the feedback of the public here at Geneva Motor Show is positive. Well, you know, that's something we always do with all our cars. We work really, really long with proportions, the volumes of the car, the stands, how the car sits on its wheels. So that's where we spend most of our time with Provo, on that very, very compact footprint. How can we get as much muscle, toughness, almost cheekiness in a way, you know, provocative. That's why it's called Provo as well at the end. Um, as much sensation as possible on such a small car. Uh, I think, I mean, it looks very, very self-confident, very bold. It's almost daring you to come and, you know, test drive it. This Technospace is built on our new platform. It's uh, the first car uh, on this new platform, EMP2, for our efficient modular platform. And this new platform allows us um, n- some very important things in terms of design because the new platform has a very short overrun uh, at the front and at the rear and a, a big wheelbase so we have a more compact car more energetic car with much more space in it the platform allows us to to make a great progress in terms of uh, CO2 emission so we will be the first car uh, in this segment under 100 gram of CO2 per kilometer with 98 gram per kilometer. Well, this car for, for us as a company is a very symbolic car. Of course, Sergio Pininfarina has given uh, 50 year, 55 years of his, of his life to that company. And he was, after the founder, was the, the person who made the company grow to an international level. 
His name was mainly associated also to an incredible amount of great cars like Ferrari and other incredibly nice brands. So for us to do this car as a memory, as a celebration, to honor him, it was a very strong uh, message and very emotional. And we wanted to make a design that is a purely emotional design that also get back the spirit of the best uh, uh, execution of uh, Sergio Pininfarina from the 60s and the 70s.